What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft with a stipulation here on uh, the Tournament of Champions. And today, our stipulation is from Afro 2, and it's only draft three converted mana cost cards or lower. I don't know how I feel about this, but we might be trying to go red. That might be our goal. Yeah, Crimson knows what's up. Crimson 7 is, is on the is on the case there. And we just had the chat vote on which stipulation we were going to do. So now we're doing uh, three converted mana cost or lower. Thank you. Um, unfortunately, most of the storm cards, uh, win conditions, like like brain, like not, not brain freeze, but uh, mind's, mind's desire and tendrils all cost four or more. So, but boy, if there's a Yawgmoth's will in this pack. Can we just get the brain freeze? We just hope we brain freeze them. Oh God. I put my question in. I can repost the video rather than a search for it. Uh, no, I can just. Look. I run shock in the deck as one of my one card mana cost, but I'm thinking about switching it for Carnival Carnage. I actually haven't. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm familiar with Carnival Carnage yet. Yeah, Biovision has actually been playing. Is it Drake's a bunch? So. Uh, I kind of just want the incinerate because I feel like we're gonna. God, Yogmas will, and we have Twister could come back. I, I doubt it though. I feel like this is probably gonna be. This is gonna lead us on the course to the best. Arena is a good card, but like it doesn't really leave us like what what archetype are we gonna pick up with with the arena? I'm gonna take the red. The only red card in the pack is the one I'm gonna take, which is awkward because now we have this pack where if there's like no um. If there's like no, I guess there's always going to be something. Could just take Black Cleave Cliffs. It's sad that Splinter Twins here because or it costs four. Man, three or less is rough. I probably just want the Skull Clamp. I guess three converted mana costs or less. All right, one damage target creature plans or one damage to its controller. Three to their face. They discard two cards. Okay, so. Um, yeah, that seems pretty good. I'd probably definitely play that over over Shock, just for the versatility alone. Well, I guess you're not going to be able to cast the Black Half unless you splash for it, though. I'm going to take Skull Clamp here. Oh, man, we got to pass a Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, we could take a Stoneforge Mystic and be like red white aggro again. I'm gonna take Stoneforge because we already have Skull Clamp and all of the equipment is three or less. So that's actually That's a solid plan. Thief of Sanity also very good. I hope the mag maybe the Magma Jet comes back. God, we're passing plow under now. Guys, there's no justice in the game of magic. I'm gonna take Flame Slash. It kills pretty much everything. Ooh, Adanto Vanguard is actually... I was going to take the Char, but I think Adanto Vanguard's a little bit better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Also, Char might come back. We have There's going to be three cards that come back. It might be Char, Progenitus, Hex Mage. That's my guess. I do like an Ancient... Oh, Manatide seems great here. We can Manatide some guys in our... Uh... Yeah, let's Manatide. Okay. Figure of Destiny. Oh, and Brightling? All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. I don't know which one to take, though. Both of these are very, very good. I think it's figure. I think figure has a better upside. And we can probably play 16 lands pretty easily in the uh, three converted mana cost or less bracket. Oh, Thalia and an Honor of the Pure. Okay, okay. Hmm. I wonder if we have a Thalia and then we have a three-cost non-creature spell if it, if it counts as four and we can't play it. <gasps> Probably not. 
Yeah, I think Honor has a higher upside for our deck. Okay, so neither the Yawgmoth's Will nor the Time Twister came back, so... Somebody's gonna be having a bad time. Let's take let's take a timely for the signboard. Oh, Gideon, dang. So nothing nothing here is great. We can just take Black Cleave Cliffs in case we get a black card we want to splash for it. With it. What is your cat's name? I just call him Little Man, but he's also Um His name is Issy. Oh, the Magma Jet and the Thief of Sanity came back? Obviously, we're not Thief of Sanity, but having a Magma Jet is pretty nice. Remorseful Cleric. It's a creature that wears a Skull Clamp. Uh, not for long, but it does wear it. Sorcerer's Spyglass could be good. I kind of just like 2-1 Flyer here. We can put equipment on it. Oh. So we're right about Hex Mage, but the other two is uh, no bueno. Hmm. I'll just take the card that we can actually cast in our deck if we ever have to. I mean, this is not a bad 10 cards to start out with. We got a uh, an honor, some good creatures. All of our spells are red. Oh, Masker Worm? Yeah, I'll just hate this guy. <laughs> God, what a beating. Wow, the Brightling came back. That's such gas. That's amazing. I'm so excited about that Brightling. This Brightling is such a resilient dude, especially with a with an honor of the pure making it a 4 4. That's insane. Oh, man. This is going well. I want this sword, but I also want this Legion's Landing. I think, I think this is probably going to come back. I'm going to take the sword. Yeah, definitely sword. We have Stoneforge Mystic. Would you consider changing your last name? No. I like my last name. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you know, I'm good. Sword of Fire, nice. History of Benalia seems real good. So does Dak Faden. I wish we could play a Dak Faden. Hmm. Our lands are not great here. We have none. I think it's History of Benalia here. That seems good. History, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, History might come back and we can take the sword. Actually, that's, yeah, I like that. I think that's very reasonable. Council's Judgment? Hmm. Basically the perfect removal spell in this format. I will easily take that. Smuggler's Copter, also very good. But we don't have anything like this to deal with opposing Planeswalkers. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take that. We do need some more creatures, but we'll see. Brimaz is not another pretty sweet three drop. Is it too late for bidet bits bits? No, no, it is not. You can always donate your bidet bits and they will go to the bidet fund. Yeah, Johnny's pretty sweet. Or uh, Brimaz is pretty good, especially with Honor of the Pure. Gas. I mean, it's very possible we're not even red, right? Like, it's, it's very possible, but there's no reason not to be right now, so. Oh, I wish you were not four mana. Oh, that's frustrating. This card is busted. Walking Ballista is definitely playable. We might just want Lightning Strike, though. Oh, yeah. C Council's Judgment is gas on True Name Nemesis. It's one of the few ways you can actually deal with it like that. And, like, all the sweeper effects, like the Wrath effects. Yeah, we're just going to take this. We're not going to have enough mana to, to reliably uh, Walking Ballista things, I don't think. Palace Jailer going is so sad, though. 
Inspiring Vantage is a pretty easy pickup here. I like Banisher Priest. I would take a Banisher Priest, but I'd rather just have at least one fixing land here. And then we just get an Oblivion Ring, which is actually harder to deal with. So I'm just going to take that and play it, most likely. And Sacred Foundry is also pretty sweet. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. And the Legion's Landing comes back, like you do. Yeah, oh, and the History of Benali comes back as well, like you do. Alright, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, me and Ollie streaming at the same time is pretty, uh, it's pretty farts, but I don't know, what, what can you do? Ollie usually specializes in, he plays Constructed, and I usually play Limited, so. Uh, Blade Splicer, definitely the pick here. Our three drop slot just got real clogged, so. Gotta go with me every time I give you. I appreciate it. Blessed Laughter, thank you so much, buddy. I'll take the card I can cast if I ever need to. If I only had one more bit. <laughs> oh, hey, Tony, it could have been so nice. It could have been so nice. I want to take the Palace Jailer anyway. We have three swords for our, our Stoneforge. One of my least favorite things is drawing Stoneforge after you've drawn all your equipment. Oh, the Banisher Priest comes back too? Wow, we just have it all. We could also splash this Vampire Hex Mage off of our Black Cleave Cliff. Just kidding, you can't do that. I don't know, this deck's looking pretty good. I'd like some more one drops. Like, we have good removal in Oblivion Ring and Council's Judgment. And now Jitte. All right, Jitte's pretty good. Oh, boy. Look at all these broken lands that were printed in a time where lands were just way more powerful. Rashadonport, Gaius Cradle, and Wasteland. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. It's it's hundred percent this. We're not gonna we can't take this, and it's not either one of these. So I'm just gonna take Jitte because it's pretty much insane. I'd rather have Jitte than Sword of Fire and Ice. Sword of Fire and Ice is great, but I also love Dire Fleet Daredevil in this format because you get to you get to try to hit things like uh, Time Walk and Ancestral Recall and all that. And it's also just a two one with first strike. Soulfire Grandmaster also pretty good, but. I don't know if we're ever going to have, like, the extra four mana to activate it. I think Dire Fleet's probably going to give us more value. Oh, Lightning Helix is great. Oh, Sulfuric Vortex? Are we Vortexing? I don't think we're double redding. I don't think we want a double red card here. I think we'd rather just take Lightning Helix. Thank you. Widge, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to take the Lightning Helix here. We do need some more creatures. Well, here's a one drop. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Oh, look. The same card. Oh, Rabble Master's great. Oh, we also have History of Benalia, which is a creature, I guess. So that's that's pretty good. So is Legion's Landing. So we're actually at like 11 creatures here. Yeah, Goblin Rabble Master's great there. Oh, Young Pyromancer. This is actually a pretty sweet Young Pyromancer deck. We have Incinerate, Magma Gent. Let me move these guys over to see what we have here. Yeah, it's pretty good. Rockfall, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. All the best in New York. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's either that or Condemn. I don't think we're condemning. I don't just have Pyromancer here. Silverblade Paladin and Monastery Swift Spear, huh? I'll be honest. This deck's looking pretty decent. Is Paladin better than any of other three drops? Maybe better than Blade Splicer? I do like Swift Spear, though. Yeah, we'll just Swift Spear. We have to take like one cut now. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we have to make like two cuts. So we have 12. Also, Pyromancer with, with Skull Clamp is pretty insane. Little Scoochie, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. Oh, a Needle Spires? Sure. 
I'll take an Eagle Spires. Again, I don't want double red, and this actually, like, <laughs> this literally triggers on every spell in our deck, so it's kind of like, eh, not really. I'd rather just have the Fixing Land. And Relic Order and Unexpectedly Absent. I like Absent because it just deals with anything. I'll take that. Well, Soulfire Grandmaster came back anyway, which I think is better than Remorseful Cleric in the main deck. So that's decent. Abbot of Carol Keep and Sulfuric Vortex. Okay. Well, this is pretty ridiculous. I want to take Vortex. Nothing here. I guess we could take Geist, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just take the Face Feathers. Sure. Jackal Pup, you are playable. Wall of Omens, you are also playable. All right, well. So this is 12 creatures, but we do have History. We also have Legion's Landing, which do produce creatures. Young Pyromancer also makes creatures. We have this 26 cards. How many lands are we playing? This is like a 15 land deck, right? Like, we can make one cut and just run this like it is, right? And we have Skull Clamp, Jitte, and Sword for all our for our Stoneforge Mystic. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Might just want to cut the Mana Tithe, but it's actually pretty cool. It, we might have actually... Eh, Honor of the Pure is so good with like Brimaz, Brightling, History... I don't think we got Pyromancer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spells. I think that's more than fine. Plus, like, we have Skull Clamp, so, like, all of the Pyromancer tokens are just fodder for the Skull Clamp. They just draw two. Same thing with Rabble Master. Both of those are very, very good with, uh... I kind of like cutting Flame Slash just because it doesn't go to the face. Like, Helix, Jet, Strike, and Incinerate all do. I think we're doing that. It's very efficient, but I think this is probably what we're going we're gonna to land on here. Like, cards that are impacted by um, Honor of the Pure... Like, all of these are impacted, and Needle Spires, actually. All of these are impacted by Honor of the Pure, which is pretty good. This makes two twos. This makes three threes. This becomes a four four. Brimaz makes two twos. JT, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I got you a gun rack. That's, fuck, God, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, we'll try it with Honor of the Pure. We'll see if it's good enough. We're playing 15 lands. That's something right there. 8, 9, 10, 11, 4, 5, 6, 11, 7. No, we want... We, we do want white on turn... We want red on turn 1, so... Oh, man. This is something, dude. I don't even have a gun, let alone many guns, that would constitute owning a rack. Uh, are you mental? Is Gravy Train really his his nickname? I've never heard Gravy Train. You also spelled you also corrected train when it was spelled correctly. I don't understand. I'm confused.
Yep. We'll give it a go. Like a broom or a vacuum. That's true. It could be a vacuum rack. Oh, here we go. Well, they have three cards left in their hand, so... You know. Fingers crossed. Wow, turn two, huh? <laughs> okay. Well... Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. We'll put the removal spells and then the draw spells. Alright, cool. So you took Deluge. Ultimate Island. Sure. Do you show me over here? God, nice. Well, I guess we get to I guess we have to keep the cards in our hand, that's for sure. What is the card we get? We have Young Pyromancer, so I'm actually probably gonna get Skull Clamp here. I have six cards again. That was a pretty sweet refill. No, they're not deluging anything, I guess. All right. So let's just draw two if they ever want it. We should have actually done pre-combat, but I'm, you know, it's whatever. I'm not gonna when, they, when we know they have deluge shot. I'm not gonna like run a young pyromancer into a deluge. I think that's gonna be our recovery. Yep, that is fine. You took two again. Sure, I draw two. Yeah, that seems great. Oh, we are one mana shy. We are one white mana shy from doing all the things, but oh, I'm gonna kill it in response. Yep. All right. So both of these are gone. Sure. There we go. That's nice, actually, because now I can go Brumaz Legion's Landing and equip. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, well. Man, Skull Clamp is just insane. Like, we did, we did deal six here, but we can also just kill this vampire if we want to. All right, we did play a land. So we can just go Pyromancer and then keep up Magma Jet. Yeah, that seems pretty okay. Does the gravy train turn the coin? What does that even mean? I have two cards in hand. This is the only one I want to be. I want to have three guys on board so we can flip the legion's landing. Uh, put you on top. Put you on the bottom. Actually, we could have kept that just because they're at seven. One, two, three, four, five. 
might have been lethal. Oh, we just win the game. All right. It means you're late to the party for a joke from like 10 minutes ago. That probably is what it means, actually. That is... Uh, hmm. So just to be clear, our deck seems amazing. Keep. <clears throat> Very aggressive. One drop. That's not a one drop. And I'm a little bit disappointed that you misled me there. Mm. Joke's on you, buddy. This is what you call a whiff. Did they polluted Delta and just got a basic? Boring. Oh man, good thing. Good thing we drew that. I'm gonna play this. If we play a Dante Vanguard, they're just gonna block. We're gonna pay four. I'd rather just uh, get this sword. Phyrexian Arena? A bold strategy, Cotton. I feel like they're gonna... I feel like they're gonna Toxic Deluge for three here. Because Brightling's pretty problematic. So they just attack for one, Deluge for three. Or they just play Bone Shredder. That's also good. I just made this. Let's see what Mossy Beard made. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, for those on YouTube. Got a little General Grievous meme here. We'll make a fine addition. I can't do a, a, I can't do a General Grievous voice, but you get it. I'm okay with it. play a Danto Vanguard here. I want to keep the Young Pyromancer as, as well as the spells, and I also want to set it up to be able to draw some cards soon. I don't want to attack because then they just block with Bone Shredder, and there's really no point to that. We just lose a Stoneforge Mystic and we don't have to. I don't think you're paying for this guy. I have a good feeling about it. Yep. Excuse me, guys. You attacking? No. No attacks, eh? Okay, so we know you have Vraska's Contempt. You have Ultimate Price. That's a yikes for me, dog. And there's the contempt. Once in like to never not have it. Do 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 do. All right, well, look what I just made. Oh well.
Hmm. Cool. Oh, it was just poop. That's funny. That's It was a picture of poop. And you made it. Well, this is kind of awkward. Yeah, this isn't going to end well. Fascinating. There you go. Let me draw two. Seems good. It's actually very good. <clears throat> Alright, let's do that instead. Just to get rid of this thing. A bye bye So if we draw another land, we can go... If we draw another mount, a red land, we can go Pyromancer, shoot, shoot. Get two extra guys, and now we don't have to really worry about... Uh, yep, that's a thing. I'm definitely going to double shoot this thing on our turn. Before they draw cards here. Yeah, I feel like the odds of us drawing a red are too low. Okay, reasonable. Another reasonable answer for a Consecrated Sphinx. Sure. <clears throat> well, that's obnoxious, especially because we only have one red now, but... <laughs> it's actually uh, an awkward situation. Cool soaring. <laughs> sure. Yep, those are all things. Yeah, I don't think we can be a Scarab God. <clears throat> uh, not with, like, yeah, graveyards full of creatures, Consecrated Sphinx, Bone Shredder. Yep, that's a, that's a good one. I kind of want Sulfuric Vortex here. Yeah, take out Sword, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. I will play first. Oh, wow. Well, we got the Vortex. I'm going to keep this hand because any white makes it pretty okay. And we do have a turn two play. <clears throat> and we do need a third land, but... If we don't draw a third land, we probably draw one and two drops. So, I, I actually... Uh, yep, that's pretty good. So long, Sulfuric Vortex. <laughs> Oh, man. Good times.
We could wait to, to play this on three so that we can actually Inquisition as well, which is kind of nice. They could also just take directly Daredevil. I don't know. I don't know what they're. I don't know what their plan is. Young PZ did not shank any Titans, unfortunately. Yep, to the surprise of no one. No bueno. <clears throat> Do we just play a 2-1 and not get the value off of this? Yeah, this is... Unfortunately, this is like the worst hand we've had. It was good until they took the Sulfuric Vortex because... Inquisition ironically hits every card in the deck. Is that ironic? I don't think that's ironic. Could conveniently hits every card in the deck. Let's say conveniently. No, all right. Let me just preordain. Come on, land. Oh, just a three drop. All right. Well, I guess we're going to play this guy because I don't really feel like waiting anymore. Even though I would love to be able to play either one of these one drops. Oh, man. Good times. How oh, nice. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess it's... We kind of asked for it, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> That's probably unbeatable for us. Yep. And there's another red. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. I think our deck is good. I think we just probably should have had white lands in this hand, and we did not. So. <laughs> Only franking a mana screwed with three converted mana cost or lower. Yep, that's, uh, that's how you do it. <clears throat> I will keep this hand. Seems good. So now we can play both of these next turn and attack for three, whereas if we played this first, we'd attack for one. Second turn, we'd attack for two. So now we're getting one extra point in there on turn two. What's up, Kellen? Good seeing you, buddy. Oh, we got a green. Would have been nice if we got some moxes for this deck. That would be fantastic. I would be a fan. Scavenging ooze. Okay. Were they trying to figure out how to cast it with Demir Signet? I don't know what the holdup was there. We can play you. It doesn't really do anything. I kind of just want to magma jet this while we can. Yes. We'll top you. Top you. Top you. 
Oh, they did disconnect. Yeah, but that only took like <clears throat> a few seconds. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. They disconnected. Whatever. We did open Power Pack 1. You just didn't like it. Yeah, I don't think Time Twister is actually power. Time Twister is like joke power. You'll get caught up in the joke power. Stabby the Hobo, what's going on? <clears throat> Stabby, your stipulation said mono black, but if you see Tooth and Nail Eureka Channel, you must take them and play them. Um, do you mean if I see those cards, I have to make a deck with them? Or do you mean I have to actually, like, play them in the mono black deck? Because those are significantly different. You'll get caught up in the... Play them in a mono black deck? Oh my god, you maniac. That just sounds... Oh, that sounds almost unplayable, unfortunately. <clears throat> so let's go Swifty Boy. They have two cards in hand. That's pretty good. Let's Oblivion Ring. Because I want to get rid of this, but this also hits their face, which is relevant at this particular juncture. And they basically have no mana, so... I mean, they, they do have no mana. I don't actually want to get a thing with a figure, because... I don't want to trade with an Arbor Elf. <clears throat> and they're taking 8 here if they don't block anyway, so... Sure, sounds good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hmm. So they block here, block, block, block. They take two, a million. Yep, this is a good. This is a good card. This is a good card. You guys still play colors if it's not. <coughs> if it's not possible, just go one to black. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good to know. Hellrider would like just win us the game, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'd have Incinerate for next turn. Yeah, Hellrider's pretty good. So one, two, three, four, this is gonna be a five. So they're gonna block here. They're gonna block, 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 block. And if we incinerate, we can't play anything else, which is kind of frustrating. <clears throat> I think the question is how wide can we go? If we can if we can go much wider here. It's a Kithkin. Does it become a knight? It becomes a spirit. Then it becomes a spirit warrior, then it becomes a spirit warrior avatar. Alright. Alright. Backlight, thank you so much. Eleven months, buddy. We are almost there. We are almost there. Living on a living on a prayer. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six creatures that can attack. They have five blockers. So basically, the only thing that would survive is one, one, one. I guess this would survive, and this guy could survive. They're either gonna they're gonna be able to, they're gonna pick off one of these three. So the only thing we really lose is goblins here, unless they like double up on like. I think that's actually okay. I 
Because the goblins have to attack anyway, so it's almost like better to uh, to throw the boys in. <clears throat> yep, this is how I figured it would go. So they take three. Mm -hmm. And I really wish that we had... Uh, we should have, maybe we should have kept incinerate up. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but now they we have four creatures on board plus a brightling. They're at six. We have incinerate, and we have a lot of cards we can draw to just kill them on the spot. I don't think they actually have anything. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you, Morgan. Thanks so much. One month for each year of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Give or take. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Um, I kind of like Skull Clamp here because it's very, very good. If we attack with these three, are they just dead? No, because they'd go block here, block here, take one. This is actually tricky. I don't know what to do here. It's either it's either Jete or Skull Clamp. Sword also seems great in this matchup. <clears throat> I kind of just want Skull Clamp to kill a goblin and draw a card. Yeah, we'll just take the, the clamp. How do we deal the most damage here? I don't think we do. I think we just wait till next turn, but we're going to actually clamp this guy and see what happens. If, ideally, we'll get a land and something else. That's a good land to hit. Also, honor the pier next turn is pretty, pretty nuts. So, <clears throat> you are an artificer. You are a monk. So, no other knights to really take advantage. What up, D DJ? I'm actually not playing... <clears throat> oh, you guys are just talking about something else. Alright, so we did it. We did it. Um, I really like Remorseful Clerk just because it flies. <clears throat> I really don't like my throat just because it's all scratchy. I'm going to take Soulfire Grandmaster out and put Remorseful Cleric in the deck. I think being a 2-1 uh, flyer is just... It's been better in so many situations where it's just like, well, you can't block this. And that's relevant. Oh, well, this hand's not going to do it. We're going to ship this double, and this is actually a great hand. All right. I'm going to bottom this because we already have one of those types of effects, and I don't think we need two against this deck. So we can go Taylor Swift Spear into Vanguard. <coughs> Blah. Oh, the Strip Mine Crucible deck is brutal. Especially if they have, like, Fast Bond or, um... I guess Fast Bond. <laughs> I guess that's the... I was gonna say Ramming App Excavator, but that's a corollary to, um... To Crucible, not to Fast Bond, so... Oh... I like that. This is nice because it gives us ways to draw more cards. Fantastic. I, I knew that monk was trouble when she walked in. 
No shame on me. I don't know why my throat's acting all up. I apologize if you guys are listening to this and have to deal with. Uh... Wow, what is this? What is this deck? Brain freeze and you faithless living here and you played mere battle sphere last turn like with arbor elves and sylvan caryatids. What's even happening? Frank loves mountains. Ten months in a row, deck full of mountains can't lose. It's not. It's not full of mountains. It has some mountains in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so we're going to cast Clamps. And then we're going to equip it to this Taylor Swift Spear. And then we're going to attack for six here, which is pretty good. That's a third of their life total. And we'll play our land. Oh, a Sylvan Library. Well, that's not going to do it. You're still you're still dead. Oh, Rabble Master? Oh, man. Rabble Master and Skull Clamp? Come on, guys. Come on. I wish I had a land here, because then I can go Pyromancer, Lightning Helix, your face. I think they're just going to block here, which is totally fine by me. They did not block. It's fascinating. Well, now I feel silly. <clears throat> now I should have done things differently. I kind of just want to get rid of the... Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of this. And we miss a point, but I didn't want to decide that before they blocked. So it sucks when you... Um, it sucks when you have to, like, prowess post-combat when you could have pro pro prowess pre-combat. I always prowess pre-combat, just so you guys know. But um, then you gotta, you're you like, well, my plan was to lightning helix their face and kill this if they blocked. So them not blocking. Oh, that's... All right, well, I, I feel like they're not very geared towards this deck. What'd they get there? Two lands and a Jetu. A Magma Jetu. Ooh, Umazawa's... Umazawa's Jete. Yeah, we're just going at your face. We're going to do the same thing we did last turn. If they don't block, they're dead. <clears throat> and they still go to one here. Alright, I'm just going to pass. Like, they have one fewer mana than they had last turn, I guess. So, Thank you. The Mike Hypothesis. Five months in a row. Sunday, chicken, Sunday. No, Sunday, chicken, Sunday. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Alright, go. Okay, so you have... Okay, so you have nothing. Understandable. But you can block with this, so we're actually going to put a hasty boy on the board. And that should be the end. It was the end. Have you heard the Saul Williams cover of Bloody Sunday? I have not. Saul Will... I don't even think I know who Saul Williams is. I'm going to replace Soulfire Grandy Boy with Remorseful Boy. And then we're going to try it like this. I'm at my in-laws, and we are on our 70 million of American Pickers. Oh, man. I loved some American Pickers. When I had cable, Ancient Aliens was my jam. 
American Pickers was my jam and Pawn Stars was my jam. And I don't know why, but I just found it so entertaining seeing these old things brought in and like appraised. I'm like, what's that even worth? Look at that old piece of junk. <clears throat> Oh, this hand seems good. <coughs> Excuse me. He can pound him down. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Wait, what? <clears throat> All right. Well, that's something, I guess. Hmm. Well, this is fascinating. I don't know what's happening right now. I mean, they're going to block, but we're going to set... No, 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 no. We can actually lightning strike this guy and kill it. I think we're probably going to do that, to be honest with you. I kind of like this. It's like any Guy Fieri stuff. It requires not thinking and is engaging enough to be... Yeah, I think that's a good that's a good description for it. Devoted Druid, sure. Well, that is unfortunate. Could have skull clamped a mentor and then gotten in there. The Swift Spear, not a mentor. Not men you're not mentoring anybody. One, two, three, four, five, six. Primeval Titan. Whisper Wood Elemental. That's a good one. Land, please. I'm begging you. Yes. I will name Whisperwood. Vote for your manifest token. Dang it, they did not. Uh, they did not. I'm actually going to attack with both, because if they want to block with the manifest guy, I have no idea what it is, but I think it's a fine trade. They didn't want to do that. They said, no, nah, I'm good. What? Where did all this... Oh, they... Oh, Upheaval. And Excavator and Oracle. Fascinating. They're offering 2500 for a Weather Vane. And 60 bucks for a Klaxon horn. <laughs> Appreciate these updates. Picker updates. Hashtag picker updates. All right. Well, that's fine. No, oh, look, a land. Who knew? Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. <clears throat> this skull clamp is not doing much work here because of our... Man, we'll hold you back for now. This Frost Titan is going to be pretty problematic. As it always is. Burmaz with Clamp is pretty good times. I agree with you. Yep. Now you're going to tap down my Inspiring Vantage? That's rude. Joke's on you, buddy. I got lands for days. Hmm. Pretty sure we're just getting in there with Cleric here. Feels like getting there with Brumaz is just a recipe for a bad time. Running Skull Clamp with X2s again? Unbelievable. Unbelievable.
<clears throat> well, I like our board, but like Frost Titan's kind of oppressive. I also like just equipping Spix Swift Spix Spear Spix Spear. Oh, that could be good. I like that. I don't know if it's going to be good at this juncture, but... Did he just say juncture butt? <clears throat> he did. He said juncture butt. Alright, now, now we're doing some things. Now we're making some moves. Oh, that was quick. They wasted no time at all doing that. Got that tropical island off the board. Yep, that is fine. Elk Tears, that was good times, man. I enjoyed actually, uh, you actually helped me point out some of the my own, uh, my own biases and preferences for my own cube. So, I definitely enjoyed checking out your cube and, like, cutting those cards and figuring out what did and didn't work. And I actually made arguments that made me want to go back and cut some of the cards in my own cube. <clears throat> like, Nature's Claim really stuck out because I'm like, we have five effects that do this in green. Why do I need this in... Like, there's a Vivian Reed, Rex Sage, and Acidic Slime at the very least. And I'm just like, you don't really need the one mana. Oh man, these oh this this I this planes is great. This Odyssey planes. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, you're just shuffling this guy back because you discarded it. Sure. Oh, now the cleric's going. Now the cleric is staying home. Oh, all right. Didn't didn't do anything, so that's okay. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, we can manatee this dude, or oblivion ring this dude. Finally, they have one card in hand, which is pretty nice. I'm okay with that. Give me that, dude. I mean, if they have, like, Cryptic Command in hand as their last card, it's pretty rough. But I guess we gotta cross our fingers. And we get to draw two as well. I'm game. Man, they're just giving us so many cards. It's wonderful. I don't know if you guys knew, but uh, Skull Clamp is a hell of a drug. Mystical Tutor. All right, well. Cool. I <laughs> discovered your YouTube channel now my number one. Yeah, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, what part of Florida? I'm in the Clearwater, Tampa area. Yep, that was cool.
Yeah, that was obnoxious. Uh, of course, they just... Last card's Mystical Tutor, they get Upheaval, and then they get to free Primeval Titan. Or Frost Titan, whatever the hell it is. Uh, Mulligan. <clears throat> Sand's not great, but I'm going to keep it. Honor of the Pure is pretty decent. There's a lot of cards we can draw here. I also have a little lands. I don't want to go to five here, so... That was a good hit. That was a good hit. So we got six here. That's pretty okay. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to wait for anniversary down to the keys next week. Yeah, the keys are like. Florida's huge. The keys are like six hours away from me. Probably like four or five. I'm going to attack here. I guess we just Stoneforge here. We can also just get rid of this guy. I'm pretty sure Stoneforge into uh, Sword of Body and Mind is unbeatable, right? Yeah, like some people, like, it takes me like two hours to get through the through my state and I'm like it takes me like seven hours to get through my state yeah we'll just split like this like if you want to take upheaval it's fine you don't get heartbeat seems good oh my god please heartbeat here <laughs> I mean, it's not a terrible plan. You get four mana, right? Like, you get to play three, you get to play your land for the turn. Yep. I think it's just going to be like Whisperwood or something. Sure. So I just get to draw that again? Okay. I'm just getting rid of this guy because next turn if they want to uh, <clears throat> they want a heartbeat it limits their mana from 4 to 6 which is pretty big and also when they're at 13 like this could really decide the game so yeah that's fine wall of roots sure I mean if we can hit one land here it's going to be pretty insane we did Phyrexian Metamorph, also good. Opposition, there's the Whisperwood. Upheaval's in the graveyard, so you don't have to worry about that, really. All right, so you get eight mana here. They have Mystic Snake in the deck. Time Spiral, sure. <laughs> Twelve mana, yep, yeah, this is good. Very good. So long, six damage and burn spells. I mean, we still have this guy. Not irrelevant. I mean, if they just drew, like, Ulamog, though, it's pretty rough. Oh, this is gross. 
We might be dead, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, I think this turned out pretty well for a three converted mana cost or less deck. Of course you draw the upheaval. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, it's just not even worth going. It's not even worth doing after this. Like, it's whatever. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. And there's a few days left if you want if you guys still want to submit stipulations. Uh, I think the cube ends this coming Thursday, so you got a little bit of time left if that's something that interests you. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore and get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I may have said that already. I don't remember, but uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.